the smallest tower, be aware of monsters. I tend to be the type that I won't actively seek out fighting a ton. I'm a lot more likely to just run past everything to get to more story. Tear herself. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> oh, buddy, what are you sitting at? Sadness. That's that then. Let's move out. So that's the way to continue. So what's up this way? Count it as a preemptive. Awesome. Finish them off. All right, we're good to go. Beast flesh, too. And a tear bone. It was worth going back. Let's get to that tower, save those kids. They're in the tower. Looks like we've come all the way to a smallest tower. Didn't see any sign of them along the trail. So do you think they've wandered inside? It's quite likely the case. Let's go in. Looks like we'll need to hurry. Right. We shall hurry after we check the outside, you know, make sure there's no hidden path that they took. And then run in. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Quit being a baby. I'm only on the first floor of this place. Did you hear that? They really did come in here. Stella, are you all right? Luke! Pat! If you can hear me, answer me now! Those little brats. Are they pretending they can't hear me? They might have climbed up to the second floor. Let's hurry and see if we can find them. in the ring. I really need to learn how to move this camera. What are we going to do? Somebody help! Full speed. Oh no! 
Still, you idiot. You monsters go somewhere else. No, shoot, shoot, shoot! Leave us alone! Estelle, what are you doing here? Get back, you two! These monsters aren't playing around! Joshua, you're here too? Estelle, quit trying to be a glory hog by diving in all by yourself. Lecture me later! Right now we need to take care of these things. I wonder... Okay, protect all... Oh. Oh, this is a protect. Uh... Okay. These two are our immediate threats. This one hasn't gone yet, so we attack it. Why are you moving? Why... Child! to jump the gun there, but I don't care. Heal attack. I want to heal Joshua, but I can't risk him with that close to the kid. should be level 4. Stell learned craft taunt. And we got some beast flesh. And it's as easy as that. There was nothing easy about the mess you just got us into. What were you thinking rushing in like that without assessing the situation first? Well, don't get your boxers in a bunch. Everything worked out just fine. Is it safe now? Oh man, that was awesome! You really showed them, Estelle! Not bad for a girl. You little twerp! Ow, that hurts! What are you trying to do to me? What's wrong with you? You even dragged poor Pat all the way up here against his will. It's time to think about what you did today. Ow, you're hurting me! Stop it! I said stop it, you violent she-devil! So this is the thanks I get for saving your neck, huh? Looks like it's time to give you some of my special discipline. Ow, 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 ow! Alright, Estelle, I'm sorry. Everything was my fault. Um, Estelle? Shouldn't we forgive each other like they teach at school? This brat doesn't need forgiveness, but a little discipline should do the trick. Estelle, behind you! It's something with teeth, isn't it? <laughs> uh, nice monster? I'm not gonna make it in time. Huh? Dad, you came! You still lack skill in understanding, Estelle. You must always prepare for unseen danger by sharpening your senses. That's part of what it means to be a bracer. D dad what are you doing here? I just happened to be in town and heard the whole story from Ina. Give you points for your quick thinking and taking action to come after the children. But you failed to follow through completely. I really messed up, didn't I? It's a good thing you showed up when you did. Sorry, I should have been watching your back. 
That just means you have room for improvement. Constantly working to overcome your weak spots is the key. Understood. So, how about we head home, everyone? Can you boys walk? I, I think so. That was incredible, Mr. Bright. You were like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle. <laughs> of course I was. I'm her father. All right, everyone. Let's file on out of here. I'm with you, Mr. Bright. Who's the glory hog now? I mean, I guess should be thank thankful that Dad saved my behind. Why does he have to go and take all the credit like that? It really chaps my hide! <laughs> That's just the way he is. After all, he is Cassius Bright. Seems like you had quite a day. That is just unbelievable. Second we get back to Roland, he says, I'll leave the reporting to you. Takes off for home. Sheer nerve, I tell you. There's no need to make a mountain of a molehill over it. At least the boys came back safe and sound. Anyway, I think there's all there is to report. Child rescue? Thousand Mira. And 3 BP. Well, for your first assignment. Details of report alone, I believe I can commend you both for a job well done. You should be proud of yourselves. Y you really think so? I know so. In fact, you'll do even better on your next job. If anything else comes up, I would appreciate your help again. Sure. How about we head home, too? I guess we'd better. I've still got dinner to prepare. Would you mind holding on a second? The letter arrived for your father just a little while ago. Unfortunately, since he went straight home, never got a chance to give it to him. Do you think you could deliver it instead? Letter to Cassius. I wonder if it's more re work related stuff. Imagine so. The letter appears to be from one of the foreign branches. One of the guild's foreign branches? I'm sure, I already know by now. The Pearl isn't the only country where the Bracers Guild exists. On top of that, your father is widely known across the Zemurian continent, so we can expect these kinds of letters from time to time. If you two would be so kind as to make sure it gets that he gets this letter, I would really appreciate it. 